Okay, let's jump right into the video because I don't want to make it too long. We're just going to make sure that we size up the calf so it's not no extra space in there. All you need to do is make sure you make a couple of pleats. If you are comfortable with sewing already, you should already know what I'm talking about. If not, just watch. You just need to make some folds, pin them down, and stitch everything down. Once you stitch everything down, and yes, I'm going to zoom in so you can see. See, look here, right here. Boom. Okay, once I stitch everything down, I'm going to flip the cap inside out and we are going to cut off the excess cap. Okay, okay. Okay, so it's pretty much self-explanatory because you want to make sure that your measurements are matching up before you draw your guides. And when you draw your guides, you just want to imagine how the hair is going to lay if it was on there. These caps do have a bendable wire at the ear tab, and then they also have bands in the back. Just marked around those so you don't jam your machine up. And pin your lace down to the cap so that when you transfer it to the machine, nothing moves. I'll show you how to remove them in a second. Okay, now jumping on this machine, we are going to start by using our straight stitch. You're going to first start by locking it in place, which will be very simple if you watch the tutorial link down below in the description bar. It is the video of how to do a straight stitch. If you practice on those, this should be pretty easy for you. But I use straight stitching because I feel like it's a little bit more simpler, it's neater, it's cleaner, and it's a lot more durable than a zigzag stitch. You will need practice with this though because if you do make a mistake, taking the stitches out is a little bit more difficult than a zigzag stitch, but this gives a cleaner, finished look. You'll go in, you will cut the entry points on where you started and finished, and then you're going to also cut the uh, little pocket out. What you going to keep? <laughs> Some money in there? <laughs> yeah, so now nah, cut that off. Okay, now wet services go last, so we're going to bleach the closure and then we are going to color or dye the rest of the hair jet black. So to bleach the closure, we are just going to make a, um, a small mixture of like a little thicker paste. Don't get on here and act all crazy, especially if you're not no stylist. Don't be using no volume developer above 30 because you need to watch it. Do not be over bleaching nobody hair and don't be putting no ball spots in nobody lace. But yeah, everything is pretty much self-explanatory. You don't want to do nothing too extra. Just, you know, place it nicely on top of the lace. If y'all want a more in-depth video on color or bleaching, just subscribe and then say that. Say that in the comments down below. Be like, girl, I want you to do a video on XYZ. And make sure you put the thumbs up so I get the notification. For wigs and custom requests, check the uh, description box down below. Don't forget to follow me on my socials at I am Whitney Chu. And oh yeah, as always, shop WhitneyChu.com.